to my channel. This is for um, July, I'm sorry, August 19th through to the 25th. I will have my free ETS that will be up from the 19th, 20th, and 21st. It'll be in the credits as we get closer to that date. I usually upload these videos earlier, but as we get close to the 19th, 20th, 21st, the link will be there. Um, and today is July 30th. So, welcome. Let's see what the 19th through the 25th has. We're going to look at the 19th, 20th, 21st, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, I see some of you keeping score. Right away they're showing you're keeping score. <clears throat> and they're saying that you're keeping score on a scorecard, though, that it's almost like you think you have this other square you can go into, and then the, all of a sudden the page on the that you're using to do, you know, to, to land on this square is torn and then all of a sudden it's torn up and then the square isn't there so something that you thought was your next move something you could depend on is going to fall apart so they're saying it's okay go with it okay uh, they said it's circumstantial all right so it's not personal it's just circumstances and what i see is uh, they're showing me the sun coming up it's kind of like the sun tarot card which i don't really read tarot cards so but anyways i am familiar with it uh so i just feel like there will be a new better opportunity as a result so whatever goes let it go all right <clears throat> even though that's not fun to have happen um i also hear it they're talking about squirreling around you're just squirreling around like you're just doing busy work but you're not getting anything done quit wasting time all right uh, they also are talking about milk does the body good. It's interesting. They're taking a full glass of milk and drinking it, but it's nourishment. You need the nourishment and you need to take in the full glass of nourishment, not just a little bit. Uh, you really, really need to revitalize yourself, regenerate yourself, do the work that you need to do for you. Eat right, sleep, uh, absorb and learn and grow in a way that you need to in order for you to be uh, ready and prepared. Do not squirrel away this time. All right. Okay. I hear, uh, okay. I don't know if it's baby got a new pair of shoes. So that's a, that was a saying that they would say, um, you know, when, uh, you know, you got to change your look or a whole new identity or a whole new vibe, uh, but it feels very good and it, it feels really good. And, and, uh, so it's either going to be for you or for somebody close to you that you really care about where you're going to enjoy it as much as they do. Uh, yeah, it feels real good, real happy real happy and I'm hearing a tamarine it's like this light kind of a nice energy that's coming in there's a vibration that's been building around this person and um, you know it's like it's gonna be more than just a new beginning it's gonna bring this lightness and this cheer and this joy that uh, will supersede anything uh, yeah it feels really good um, I, I hear too though they're saying you're drowning in your own problems right there okay your own problems get out of your own way quit thinking about your problems go help someone else if you do that your problems will diminish automatically my channel message for this month uh, wound up being give you know and it talked a lot about um, giving you know so um, too much time with yourself is too much time with yourself extend yourself and you will be less uh, self-reflective and uh, things will start to move the energies will shift and change for you I do see closure for some of you also uh, by the 21st. It's like uh, you're really um, shutting the door. It's like uh, I see you hammering down that last nail in the coffin, as they say, uh, you know, like, but I, I feel good about it. It's almost like I sold the house and I moved on. Um, it's a closure, but it feels very good. I feel very peaceful. It's like a job well done, time to leave, time to go into the next energy, the next vibration, the next um, let's say, uh, if you had your twenties, your thirties, you know, so I'm moving into my fifties now, whatever, you know, if only, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. I hear a lot of, okay. Again, here's a bunch of bracelets. I'm hearing a bunch of, I don't know if any of you knew somebody that wore a lot of bracelets because this is somebody from the spirit side of life. I see a lot of bangles and I see them shaking them around. They're really trying to get their energy known to me right now. I hear Cynthia as the name and they're really shaking it around and they're like, I'm here, I'm here. They're trying to let you know they're around. So if you knew a Cynthia, you know, and they wore a lot of these uh, bangles, you know, some people just love to collect them. Um, their energies are, are their, their energies coming in. They're very happy and they're coming in to really say hello. Actually, I did know a Cynthia and she was very magical. 
Maybe it's her, so I'll take that myself too. Um, hmm. Okay, here again, they're going swimming in your own poo. Okay, you're swimming in your own poo. You know how it is? It's like if you have a pool and it's full of all your problems, all your stuff, all your, and you go swimming in that every day. There you go. You got the image that they're giving me. New day, new dawn. Okay. Um, drain the pool, clean it out. You know, uh, rather than, uh, you know, sometimes with a hello spirit, they just clicked in the room. Sometimes we get overwhelmed with everything that needs to be done. If you just take care of one thing in front of you, just one small thing, don't get way out in front of yourself, but just handle one small thing. If it's making a phone call, trying to arrange a bill to be, you know, spread out over a period of time or uh, going in and just taking care of the space that you're already in one little area, just clean that up, you know, and as you start to do these things, all of a sudden you got your energy moving and things start to clean up and move. Okay. Cause it's going to require your movement, your chain, you know, you have to do the work. It's not that there is not magic. You are the magic, but it's the magic of being in that vibration so that it's effortless so that, you know, you look back and you went, you go, wow, I, I did all that. I can't imagine it. You know, it's kind of like my, my granddaughter. I, she, she hadn't been here in a while and she got in a room and just took everything out, everything that there was, there's a lot. And, uh, so, you know, it was getting a little bit time for her to maybe go. And so I said, okay, well, you know, you, you clean up your room and I was doing dishes in the kitchen and she did for a little bit and she goes, I can, I can. I said, well, I can't, she goes, come help me. I said, I can't help you. I'm busy doing cleaning up in here. You have to do it. And so, um, she did some, and then I went in and, um, you know, she, she was kind of like exasperated. Like, I don't even know where to begin. And I said, look, grab that bag and put all your paper dolls in that bag. And, you know, and so I, I helped her see where to organize some things, put your books here. So she did it, but I just showed her a few things. And then, um, I said, now you finish up. And, and, uh, I, I moved a couple big things you know, and, uh, I let it go and I can't, and I, you know, I went in there and she had the biggest smile. She felt so accomplished. Like, look what I did. And I said, I said, yeah, I said, so now when you play with something, you can play with it or play with a couple things, but then go put them away when you're done and then take something different out. You know, maybe she will, maybe she won't, but just the same. The idea is that the feeling of accomplishment that you get from, from taking care of business is very rewarding it's difficult if we keep saying we can't but it's not difficult if we just take that first step that's all that's required one step all right um i'm getting all involved <laughs> either you will or you won't only you will swim in the pool all right let's put it that way all right let's see what else um i see there's going to be something to celebrate on sunday night the 23rd i see um fireworks going off. It's like, feels like 4th of July feels like so much fun, but I also am hearing something about June. So this has to do with the month of June. That's something then, and then there's like this newness that's coming in and the celebration again, it feels really good. All right. The 24th and 25th. Well, this is really funny. They're saying, why don't you be friends with your friends? You know, like Facebook is notorious. You know, we have all these friends, but do you know those friends? Why don't you be friends with those friends? You know, uh, or even the friends, maybe your friends there, but then the ones that you have in your day-to-day -day life, even if it's a family member or something, be friends with your friends. Take time to get to know people on a deeper level. So they're really wanting that for us. I also see that uh, there will be some division um, of properties or of uh profits and I see you getting a little more than what you thought you were going to get and I see you being very like oh wow I didn't know you're going to get that much feels really good kind of like if you thought you were going to get five thousand and they go oh, you get seven or eight it's like oh okay well that's nice you know that little bit extra so all right let's look at the 19th all the way to the 25th um you know I see just a lot of um loosening up and getting loosened up and separating uh, almost as if there's entanglement, like you're trying to do two things at one time. It's like two jumping ropes and, and you're using them both at one time, but they keep kind of twisting up with one another. And I see in them coming untwisted and loose, and then they're being done separately rather than doing two things together. You're going to separate them. 
Hmm. All right. All right. The most important thing they want me to tell you about that week is to be truthful. Be truthful. You know, you can know who you, you need to know who you are. Be okay with who you are, but also you're not, we're always evolving. So ask for help if you need it. Yeah, they're saying it's not a period, it's a comma. It's a pause. All right, so nothing's going to end. It's going to just be a comma, and then you move on, and things will move on. You know, it's kind of like how we get fixated on something, and it's a, it's it's just a temporary situation, but we're making it permanent. All right, so I'm going to shuffle these cards and see. I'll pull a card for us and see what they want us to. Oh, let's see. Okay, right here, this one. Attain serenity. I no longer let myself be swept into the turmoil of my mind and emotions. From now on, I let go of all stress, tension, worry, so I may attain harmony and serenity. I will do one thing at a time and savor each moment. Oh, my God, my spirit teachers. I love them. Gotta love it, right? All right. One thing at a time. One baby step at a time. Maybe empty the trash out. <laughs> All right. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you all, but I really do need those subscribers. So thank you very much. Namaste.